You write in some pretty harsh fashion, you know, lyrically and stuff, but the whole thing, how it's put together, I mean, and the whole overall vibe to it, you know, it's not that. You know, if you listen to the music, if you're not looking at the lyric sheet, you're not going to get that. You know, you'll get some aggression, you'll get some of those feelings and stuff. It's definitely a heavy album to listen to. I mean, you get, you're tired by the end of it, you know, it's very exhausting. But that's the way good music should be, you know, it's a trip. The Seattle band is that, uh, you know, nobody, nobody was really concerned about the type of the hype or, and the, that kind of stuff, you know, that you know, looking cool and that never is really concerned with making music and the reason why you have that happen sometimes is you have a city where there's kind of a good there's a focus you know there's like a you know a kind of a unspoken conscious you know i mean not make making some big thing but i mean just a lot of people really working hard at doing something really cool and it just explodes out like that um you know i i'd have to say that every one of the bands that have done well out of seattle uh you know they deserve everything they got because they write good songs and they're all individual bands, you know, it's not some big lump, you know, we're all not one big grunge family, you know, <laughs> it's like, we all play rock and roll in different forms and shapes, you know, and we're all different people, that's why it's different, but the reason that all this has happened is because they play good music, we play good music. Ball, and right now I've got Jane and uh, Larry, <laughs> oh, <laughs> I great. Lane and Jerry from the band Alice in Chains. It was a little joke, and, and we really got it, and you didn't, but no big loss. Anyways, there's starting to be um, a, a buzz about you guys. I mean, I am a big fan of you guys. I've right. seen you play live, put on a great live show, and it seems like a lot of people in the industry, and more important, the rock and roll fans, are really starting to talk about Alice in Chains. Well, the buzz has been getting quite big, you know, because, for one, we definitely stopped showering, so we got a lot of flies around us at all times. I noticed that, yeah. Yeah, definitely. But, uh, yeah, it's been really fun. Uh, we, oh, I get it. The, the buzz. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, anyways. Um, it, it's been really fun uh, getting out and playing and stuff, and the, the radio and, and everything has been picking up on it. So, uh, you know, it's just been getting a lot better for us. Now, you just got done playing um, a tour, I guess, across Europe with Megadeth, right? Yeah, the, our Mega Brethren, is, we like to call them. Now, Megadeth usually draws a much heavier crowd. How did the crowd react to seeing you guys play? Great. They, um, we got a good response, um, pretty much the same response we get here. <laughs> no, um, it was pretty it was, cool. Yeah. It was good, you know, we got spit on a few times. And but you guys like that. Yeah, we like we that. We love that. As well as a few other Now things. you understand saying this on MTV now, everybody's going to go to your shows and spit on you. True. True. <laughs> we hate that. We don't like that. Hey, this is Lane. Sean. From Alice in Chains. Metal. Hanging out here in beautiful Guam. It's pretty nice here. The weather's nice. Nice. We uh, just shot our second video for CSR. We're gonna try and meld the two together. Gel. Meld. You know, it's got a gel. And uh, first one sucked. This one so might it. suck too. <laughs> Who knows? I don't care anymore. I don't even like the fucking song. Fuck it. Our hairdos weren't good enough for the first one. The videos. So we got here to LA, we got a weave, we all got weaves, and uh, <laughs> and I got the new tits. Rest of them. Look at this. Zoom in. Huge. It's still sore. It's real firm. Played a lot of the places that we play with Van Halen on this first leg with the Clash, so it'd be kind of cool coming back around. Van Halen could go for quite a while, and uh, so we're just. Going by year, we'll probably before this, we'll probably have to go back. We'll go back. I'm sure on this album again. That's what we kind of been hearing, and we haven't been to Japan. We'll probably go to Japan, Australia. So Van Halen could go on a while. What does that mean? Like you're could go on. you're solidified for a certain number of dates, but after that, it's it's up in the air. Each leg, goes. they'll uh, tell us if they want to keep us on, and it could go up to nine months. Wow, I think six months. What? How did you get all these offers? I mean, it seems like you must be just a, <laughs> a big favorite among all these. My fans. fucking knees. Spend a lot of time on our knees. A lot of times, there's buy-ons. You know, where you gotta pay to go on a tour. What the fuck is that? <laughs> you gotta go pay, spend your own money to go on tour. Huh? To get seen by you know a lot of people, we buy onto a big tour. Yeah, it's uh, just we have fucking weak. We haven't had to do that yet. One album and, and touring on it for a year, and we got all these other songs that we can't really play because nobody knows them. And uh, playing that one album for another year would probably, I mean, you'd have to, you'd have to hit me with a ball peen hammer in the back of the head and take me out of my misery. We'll play with anybody. We don't, 
We're not into, as long as we get to play our music, you know. We won't play with Trickster or Nelson, and we won't play with Slaughter. Slaughter? Dana Strum, he's not a goofball. And we won't play with, um, King of the Hill, because that guy has a faggy mustache and blue eye contacts. You are a total fag. Sorry. I mean, there's a lot, of, a lot of confusion on the road. I mean, it's, it's pretty hellish lifestyle. It gives you a lot to think about, a lot to write about, a lot of ideas. I think no. releasing the dark side, releasing depression, frustration is what we're all about. That's what we're trying to do through our music, and I think it, you know, it affects people in a positive way. It can give them something to relate to, and they can release the same demons. Ooh, ooh <laughs> spooky. We only eat dark meat, too, so, I mean, it's all, everything we do dark. Notice the garb. I mean, I'm a dreary guy. I'm a, I'm a down guy. I'm a downer. Where the down guys go? No, no, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No. Blatantly, we're Satanists. So, I mean, long live Satan, 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 Satan. Hey. We've had like, probably, you know, two months, two months, months, two and a half months off since the album came out. But I mean, you go home for more than two weeks, you just go fucking crazy. You're just sitting there, and you're so used to every day you have something to do. Go, go, go. Get up and you gotta go, go. And it's like, gives you a feeling of worth. And then you go home and you just sit around and. Gives me a feeling of girth. I always feel really fat when I'm yeah. touring. You go home and you just sit around and it's great for a week or two and then it just gets really boring and start drinking more and whacking more and, and whacking and drinking and smoking and whacking. Just, I can't 